I'm Shannon Thrasher and this is 30 Second Tactics. Today, beautiful sunny day, we're out here on the range to talk about the gun as you saw in the title that's uh, knocked the Glock 19 off the throne of EDC as far as I'm concerned. Um, you guys have all heard me bragging on the Glock 19 before. You probably have one or know somebody has one. It's an all around uh, great gun for everyday carry. But uh, what's got me so excited that I might uh, put it in semi-retirement? Well, it's, uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's definitely not the high point. Get that junk out of here. It's the uh, SIG 365. Again, nothing revolutionary there. It's not a brand new gun. It's not, uh, it's probably something you guys have all heard of, but uh, I like it. We're gonna talk about why. First, we'll do the old uh, tail of the tape thing. Let's uh, reset this scale. Now, both these guns are currently unloaded, so we're going with unloaded weight. Obviously, they weigh more with ammo. That should be about one pound, five ounces. That's usually what this gun weighs on this scale. Wait. 1.54 or 1 point 1 pound 5 ounces and 4 tenths of an ounce. I'll get it out in a minute guys, sorry. And the SIG uh 1.02 so a, a hair more than 5 ounces lighter. Um and again, they're both uh empty right now, but we'll compare apples to apples. Now this does hold uh 15 rounds. And this is the X model. There's the regular 365, the 365X, and the 365XL, um, which is basically small, medium, and large, if you want to think of it like that. Uh, this is the X, or the mid-sized one. This is the, the grip size I liked. I decided I was going to get. And that holds 12 rounds. So, yes, you're getting a little more ammo here, three more rounds. Um, and I'm not arguing more ammo is always better, but I'm not sure for an EDC where, you know, the situation where 12 rounds is going to, you know, not get you out of trouble, but... Uh, two or three more will, but that is what it is. Um, another thing I really like about this is the trigger. Um, I know you're watching a video, you can't really feel the trigger or you have to take my word for it. Um, I love Glocks, you know I love Glocks, but no one's ever bragged about how great a stock Glock trigger is. We all know they're terrible. Um, the SIGs are better. Again, um, it's hard for me to describe it uh, over the video other than just tell you it's smoother than a Glock. It has a nice crisp reset. Um, I like it a lot. Um, SIG's running these flat triggers, which, you know, you can watch a whole other video on why that's a good thing. But uh, basically that's it. I didn't bring my trigger guide today, so I can't tell you exactly poundage-wise, but I can tell you, you know, as a guy who shot, you know, tens of thousands of rounds through uh, Glocks and and uh, a good bit on the way to matching that with uh, my SIG now, uh, the SIG's a better trigger, which, again, no, no great surprise. No one's, you know, running around talking about how great... Uh, Glock triggers are. But anyway guys, uh that's that's my thing. I will do a follow-up on this after I get some more rounds down range. I have shot uh a couple boxes through this so far. I like it a lot and uh we'll give you an update. So guys, that's what I have for you this month. As always, work, train, repeat. Stay safe.